Hey, what's up everyone? We're going to talk about where we are with the pack, this old girl here. And I want to talk tonight about Frozen Empire. I got to see it today. Uh, took a half day off work. Um, probably we'll talk about some spoilers uh, later on in the video. I'll try to give a heads up on that before I do it. Um, but wanted to talk about the pack, the 3D pack. Um, working on it, working on it, working on it. I kind of almost feel like it's cursed. So the bottom line is... I've, um, I've had, I, I've, I've given payment of some sort to three different parties to try to get electronics and sound in this thing. And, uh, doesn't work. It feels like it's cursed. No pun intended. Maybe it's cursed. Maybe it's a cursed pack. That'd be ironic. Uh, would it be, or would it be just strange? I'm not sure. Um, but electronics aren't working. Uh, it, 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 it beautifully wired. Everything is there. Uh, blew up power pack after power pack. And it almost feels like a money pit, like a money pit. Like I'm just pissing money into this thing. And I sort of think, because like I'm planning on going to Ghostbusters day in the summer and I'm like, this thing can't be in a hot car because it's it's PLA, it's 3D printed uh, without melting, you know. So I just started thinking maybe I should just start from formula, you know. And uh, you know th this thing is gorgeous; it, it's beautiful. I, I I I know you can't really, and I apologize. I'm in. I'm, I'm reclaiming a room since my son uh, moved out. Uh, this was his playroom, so yeah the the crummy blinds in the background. We're going to get some decent curtains in here, but the whole room is disheveled. Uh, you know, just basically trying to get my toys up and, uh, and display. But anyway, back to the pack. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, th this will be a wonderful placeholder of a movie style pack. You know, the, like a, a, a real, I, I feel like I'm a competent builder. I, I, I know that's relative and, and some of you might not think that, but I think that I'm relatively decent at like getting the parts together and putting them together and, uh, you know, for an idealized pack, not like screen accurate, but like idealized, you know, I'm busting my help with it, uh, for all these years, 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 you know, uh, well, watch out, I just knocked it. But right now, it's just, it, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna dress it up. You know, I, I I'll put the ribbon cable on, put all the other hat lights on that I have, and uh, and put it together. But my my thought, my 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 feeling in this is like to be a big boy and and get a fiberglass shell, and start building off of that. But you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Um. That, that's where we are with it. it it's it's up here i'm gonna dress up i'm gonna finish painting it i'm gonna put it and also it doesn't have a pop mac or anything you know this this is just you know friction fit you know slides in and out um but i i don't know you know do i do a fiberglass shell do i get a throwing chicken thrower um do i do aluminum parts like uh the guys at um black firehouse do again they only have 25 episodes. Man alive, I hope those guys start fucking recording again. Black Firehouse podcast, by far my favorite uh, Ghostbusters podcast. Not shitting on anyone else. I love Extraplasm and I love uh, uh, Crossrip and all that kind of shit. But man alive. Uh, Black Firehouse, uh, shout out to Dan and Austin. Uh, if anyone uh, that knows them watches this. They're the best. Um, but anyway, uh, let's let's talk a little bit about um, Frozen Empire. Saw it today. Uh, I took a half day from work. I saw it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I will say I enjoyed it. I will also say it's not afterlife nothing's ever going to be the first film right the first film's like fucking amazing like everything all the 
all the cogs and gears was clipped. You know, they were under the gun. You had geniuses in their prime, comic geniuses in their prime. Uh, Ackroyd was just, and, and Ramus were, were just, were just clutch in writing that script. I mean, the, the, and, and let me, let me say this, like, out of the, you know, from the jump, I'm a, I know that, like, my name on uh, is Lazy Jedi, and I love Star Wars and stuff like that. Well, I love Star Wars before Disney. I'm not going to talk about that right now. That's that's for another video. But um, I, I saw, you know, I'm 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 in my late 40s. I saw Ghostbusters in the theater when I was like eight. Uh, shout out to Aunt Lisa, uh, brought me there, and then took me to Record Revolution, which was this like kind of like punk rock record shop, and and they had a Ghostbusters shirt. It was killer too. It was white ringer, but with red. Uh, it was a ringer with red and uh, you know ringlets around the neck and the arms with the Ghostbuster symbol. I fucking love that shirt. I wish I still had it. And uh, you know, not that my fat ass would fit into it now, but holy hell! Like I, I even I, I look for it every so often. I'm like, there's a like a vintage shirt shop called uh, Depop. I look for it there. Not that I've ever paid for it, but. Man, I hope someone would reissue that. Man, it was so fucking sharp. Anyway, I, I'm a Ghostbusters fan from from the jump, from the jump. And uh, as far as like prop replicating and stuff like that, like I'm talking about like Black Firehouse, they talk about like the Illuminati at some point, like the these these like gatekeeper prop people that know all this shit and all that kind of stuff and blah blah blah. And uh, those dudes are younger than me, but I can tell you, like, I've been building props for a long time, um, and 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 that's real. Like, like there are people that know a whole bunch of shit, and I don't know if it's NDAs or whatnot, but anyway, they don't they don't share with you. Again, another thing, maybe I talk about it on a podcast or whatever, but I I don't know. I I don't I don't I don't want to uh, uh, have a deep dive on that. Bottom line is. I'm a super, super Ghostbusters fan, like huge. Okay, it was it was in my wheelhouse. '84 was a big year, you know. I, I you know, it was absolutely amazing. So, like, I love Ghostbusters. I love the fact that things have. I like the 2016 movie. I didn't go to like you know run out to the theater to see it, but I watched it. I I bought it when it came out. Like ever, after I had seen it for free, I bought it. I watched the extended version. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think that they had well-meaning intentions. I, 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 I don't know why people are so up in arms about it. It's, it's, it's not great, you know. But it's good. It's okay, you know. I don't, I have, I have no problems with it, no qualms. But let's talk about. I, I anyway, I'm, I'm a from from the jump. And by the way, if you don't have the Playmobil Firehouse, you're missing a fucking good time. Get the Playmobil Firehouse and the Ecto One. It's a good time. It's a good time. Um, anyway, from the from 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 the uh, original movie, I'm a I'm a big fan. Big fan. Didn't get a whole lot of jokes back then, but I get them now. Like last week, I started getting. But anyway, I'm I'm so fucking going on a on a tear here. Oh, and by the way, I want to uh, I want to give some uh, props. We did the uh, the Ecto uh, goggles giveaway uh, a couple weeks ago, and Leo Court forty two knew that Frank drinks Coors. So yeah, I'm gonna hold beers while we're doing this one. You know, fight me. What are you gonna give me a hard time? What are you? You're not my mom. So let's talk about this Frozen Empire thing. Anyway, the pack stand here. It's going to be here. It's gorgeous. It looks magnificent. I love it so much. But it's just like when you meet that special person or who you think it's that special person and like the sex is really good and they look magnificent and everything feels right. But you realize it just don't have much inside. So we're going to figure I'm, 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 I have to deal with that, uh, that crisis at a different time. Crisis. Don't be kidding. Everything's fine. Um, Frozen Empire. All right, as an OG fan, um, I don't want to spoil a whole lot. I will tell you that there's some of the most 
awesome Ghostbusters moments in this. And I'm talking like character moments. The, um, there, there's dialogue between two OGs that just, I, I could watch it all day. Like it was, it was, it was magnificent. I just want to, just awesome. Oh, excuse me, I'm bourbon. The movie itself, I feel like it subverted what I thought it was. I think it was going to subvert, like, the movie isn't what you think it's going to be. All right? Like, there's, there's stuff that happens in, okay, let me rewind. I enjoyed it. Is it comparable to GB1 or GB2? No. Is it comparable to Afterlife? No. Afterlife is is a superior film over this. But there are so many moments. I'm sorry, I had something my tongue like a little wispy or something. There are moments in it. There are so many moments in it that granted like excellence. You know, this moment I was talking to you between the two of the OGs, there's a point where one of the OGs is doing a test on someone else and um, and that uh, you don't kind of realize, I didn't realize at least, like what they were trying to do. And then you start realizing, oh, they're, they're, they're working in concert with each other and they're trying to figure something out. There's... Everyone's like complaining about nostalgia, like how nostalgia bait it is. I don't, there, there's not very much nostalgia at all. Um, I, I love, uh, you know, the original dudes. I love them. You know, uh, I kind of went through the whole circle of my life uh, as far as who was my favorite when I was a kid. And that's what it was Venkman. You know, you got the girl. He was snarky. You wanted to, you wanted to be a smart ass when you were a kid. You want to get the girl or the person always, you know, and um, that faded away and I became very, very Egon centric for most of my life. I'm going to say up until, until my 30s, I was, I was definitely like, you know, Egon's my most relatable uh, dude. And then um, I got into Ray because of the heart thing. Like everybody was, uh, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but like. Everybody always said, like, oh, well, you have a good heart, Frank, you know, you, you have, I was like, oh, maybe I'm the heart of whatever I am, you know what I mean? I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I am who I am, like, this person talking to you is the person who I am. But, uh, but who I relate the most probably in the last, like, 10 years would be Winston, uh, just because I'm not an educated person. I came into things, you know, just looking to, in my life, you know, just looking to, you know, be able to maybe, you know, make a living or something like that. And, uh, and I've improved over those years. And this movie definitely does that. Like Winston fucking rules in this movie, but who rules even more as far as the OGs go is Ray. This is Ray's movie. Like boy, howdy. It, it's the best Dan Acker performance I've seen in a long time. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Peter's there, Bill Murray's there, you know, he's there, you know, here and again, you know, not like, you know, bananas there, but, but there. I, I mean, I don't want to get spoilery, you know, about things, but there's a, all right. So I'll, I'll, I'll say it this way. It's good. It's not great. It's nowhere near GB1, GB2, or Afterlife. I won't even bring 2016 in to mix it up, but I like 2016, so I don't want to fuck anyone's curb up. There's some of the best Ghostbuster moments in it. I, I love it. I love moments. Like, I mean, like, I... I'm a Green Lantern apologist because I never thought I would be able to see Oa in a real movie. You know what? Because I've been comics since I was a kid. I was like, you're going to see the fucking Watchers and Oa's going to be there? I mean, and the movie wasn't good. But I mean, there's moments. And I'm not, not that I'm comparing to Green Lantern. You know, fuck that. Forget I said anything about Green Lantern. Um, it's not Green Lantern. 
at all. It's not Green Lantern. You know, I'm not getting into it. Um, but it's not what you think it's about. It's not what the trailers say it is. It's it's a lot of different shit that goes on. A lot of stuff that was in the trailers isn't in there. The Paul Rudd, hoo -hoo, you know, thing, which I thought was adorable. Everyone loves those fucking red parkas. No, you know, not, not in there. It, it, it is ostensibly a, uh, a story. Oh, I can't even say, I can't even say without spoiling things, but it's wacky. It's wacky. It, it hit me over the, the side of the head. What the main narrative of it was, what the main thing that it was going through the actors kill it. All of them did a great job. Uh, but, but it's so packed, so packed full of people. Like it's, it's very rushed, but I will tell you, like, I kept on asking myself, like, am I liking this? Am I liking this? Am I liking this? As, as the movie went through and, and I didn't have my first like question of like, am I liking this or understanding, or is this, a, is, is, is this cohesive to well into an hour of the movie? Because there's so much shit going on. There's so much dy dy uh, dynamism going in through all the different characters and, and, the dialogue isn't awesome. I, I, I hope, I, I'm not making any sense. I should probably just wrap this thing up, but I hope there's a longer version of this. This movie needs another half an hour or at least 20 minutes, in my opinion. Um, I don't want to ruin it for anyone. I think that the critics, and I'm saying this as a, as a ghost head, I, I, I I don't even know if I've, you know, I've been called that before, but I don't know if I've ever refer to myself at it, you know, as it in the first person. But how do I say this? The critics have it wrong in the fact that they're not getting it. They're not getting what they're trying to say. They have a lot of good, the critics have a lot of good points in the, in the thing that I'm like, it's a lot. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of shit for you to fucking digest, like in a quick moment, um, you know, at any given time. And there's a lot of drama, comedy. And there's also one thing that happens at the end that I'm like, someone's watching too much anime or, or something like it's it's bananas. The one thing that happens at the end is bananas, and uh, and I think that everyone it, it, that 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 sees it after I said that, it's it's bananas. It's bananas what happens towards the end with one particular character. It was a very comedic way of sliding down the fire pole, but like the exercise that happens after that. I have to say that took me out of it a little bit. You know, it took me out of it a little bit. But, you know, I'm drinking beers. I'm talking to you, my online friends. I better think, oh, I got the, uh, let's see, look at this. I went to an AMC and I got the popcorn bucket. Yeah, I would show this to you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's pretty big. It's got the ghost, no ghost logo, the little moogly there on the side. It lights up if I can figure out how to do this. It's... Yeah, lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks really cool on camera. Way cooler on camera than it does in real life. But this part comes off, and the uh, trapdoors go. Oh, rats! Trapdoors. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, what's in there? I don't know. That also looks very cool on camera, except for the inverted uh, costume stripe, which bothers me. Yeah, but it's cool. I'm hoping to get. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm doing an event with my uh, my group, uh, and I think that's at a regal. So I'm looking forward to getting to the 
the regal uh, trap. Uh, but for 40 bones, I don't know if this, that this is worth it to you for your display, but I do love this, you know, trap, you know, light effect with, with the, uh, with the no-go symbol on top of that. It's pretty cool. I love, I love me some light up shit. Do it. I wish you lit up pack that I've been working on for a hundred years. Right, guys? Where's my light ups? Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it looks way cooler on camera than it does in real life. Do that way. There we go. So, uh, go see it. Go see the... Oh, wow. Hey, you can see my fat fatness on my chins. Um, yeah, go see it. Let me know what you think. Um, I can do a spoiler review on it and, uh, and talk to you guys later about it, but, uh, I'm curious what you guys think. Um, sorry for the whimsy way of this video. It's late. Um, I just wanted to get it out today, you know? Um, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'll see, I'm going to hopefully see it again tomorrow. Uh, I will buy it on physical disc as I do as the duty of every Ghostbusters fan to buy everything with a fu I bought fucking Cheetos today that I'm not going to eat. I don't think, um, but I bought them because Chester Cheetah had a moogly on his fucking arm. I bought them, you know, I've been looking for the Rice Krispie treats. Why? I, I'm not even like if I had this shit. My, never mind. I'm not gonna get it. I'm buying stuff to support the brand because that's what I do. And this ain't a fucking quarter of it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see the movie. I say thumbs up, but it's not what you're thinking it is. Not from the trailers, at least. Uh, I enjoyed it. I did. I really did. Some of the best Ghostbuster moments that that a fan could hope for. But also, like, a lot. A lot crammed in to under two hours. So, let me know what you think. I'm sorry for the long-winded video. Uh, love you guys. Um, should I keep on this? Or should I... I whatever you think. Uh, who knows? There's only a hundred of you out there. Who even knows if you're going to watch this? Who gives a fuck what this old dude thinks? But thanks, everyone. Take care.